sniper here? Hi everyone, welcome back to Intuition. We're coming to you live from the Chapman Learning Commons Studios located on the third floor of the Irvin K. Barber Library on campus, UBC. Uh, my name is Tristan, I'm your co-host. I'm a recent graduate here at UBC. I majored in international relations. I'm here with my wonderful co-host. Hi everyone, I'm Pauline and I'm in my fourth and final year of economics and I'm also minoring in commerce. And we just want to let you all who uh, it's your first time tuning into the podcast today know a bit about intuition. And what we're trying to do on here is to share and discuss some experiences that students go through on a daily basis and some of those experiences can range from budgeting and financial wellness up to um, you know managing your course load and managing stress that comes along with that so we really try to be real on here and you know have everyone engaged in conversation and we'll also be interviewing some people as well so hope you guys enjoy. hi everyone today we're going to talk about a subject that gets us all riled up that uh, i know for sure that i had trouble with at my time in university and i know for sure pauline had some issues oh, with it yes oh yes and that's group work mm-hmm. mm. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> group work yep So we all fear and don't really like the aspects and the approach of group work, especially in university, because many students don't pull their weight or the scheduling conflict or whatnot. There's so much aspects about it. Mm -hmm. But we have to be realistic. We have to approach it in a positive way because the group work is not only within university. It's going to be following us throughout our whole life. So Mm -hmm. following us through uh, our professional life as well as our personal Mm-hmm. So today we are delighted uh, to talk to Yadu, who uh, was able to go out and interview students mm-hmm. and ask them what is their experience about or how do they approach group work. So it's going to be an interesting episode. We hope mm-hmm. you guys learn a lot. and Bear with us because I know it's a, it's a uncomfortable subject, you know, mm-hmm. but we'll, we got to get the benefits out of it. Definitely. And hopefully we can all leave, a, leave with having a better understanding of how we can approach group work in a way that's beneficial to us and in a way that we don't have to dread it mm-hmm. and make it a bit more bearable for everybody. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to go to Yadu, who's going to talk to fellow students and get their opinions on group work. So now to you, Yadu. Hey, it's Yadu. And yes, I'm back. Former president and CEO of Intuition. But less about me and more about you. Meet my gal pal, Claudia, third year student in the faculty of arts. I'm studying social work. Claudia, I have a question for you. Do you have group work as part of your program and do you enjoy it? Yeah, there's a lot of group work and sometimes you get tired of it. Why do you get tired of it? It depends on managing schedule. A lot of it's managing time and different personalities and Um, Mm -hmm. different expectations of the group. Absolutely. I think for group work, it's really important to establish ground rules for communication, um, priorities, and what your understanding of the course outline Mm -hmm. and of the assignment details are. And just to make sure that all of your group members have, uh, you know, have sorted out all their confusion and you guys are on the same page. Um, Because when you, when you figure that out after you've done a lot of the Uh work, uh it's incredibly challenging to go back. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Claudia. You're welcome. And now I am with a friend and co-CLCA, Forrest Kong. Very exciting name. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much, Um, Forrest, I would like to ask you, um, do you like group work in your classes? And if so, why? If not, why? Mm, it's definitely kind of like a lottery when it comes to group work because yeah. there are some times where you'll have really good group mates that really gel together, that yeah. really work for each other. Uh-huh. And then there are a couple times where everyone is just kind of doing their own thing. You have to kind of carry the load. Right. Um, to, and it kind of feels like you're doing a d- another course as well, right? So I would definitely say it's more like a 50-50 shot. So sometimes, you, shot. sometimes you might win some, sometimes you might lose some, right? But uh-huh. overall, it's a really good experience because you do get to really work on working with other people yeah. and really communicating and all the other important aspects in life, which, definitely. I, which I definitely value as well. Yeah, yeah. L- get to learn from one another and like potentially create new bonds. The most successful parts of groups is when mm-hmm. people just lay out the expectations right up front, right? right. So there, are, I've been in groups where we all told each other what our commitments are and how much we want to put into to 
our projects per se, right? right? And by doing that, that really sets the ex expectations for everybody else so that we know how much to give and how much to take as well, mm -hmm. right? So I think really just being very vocal, being honest, and a couple times just being blunt and really addressing situations directly is the most effective right. part of being part of a group. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Forrest. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Yadi. See ya. So I am now with my friend and roommate, Tom. Tom, uh, what year are you in and what are you studying? Uh, second year in mechanical engineering. And how do you find the group work in your program? Um, it can be uh, it can be rewarding, but uh, but very difficult at times. Yeah. Um, I tend to hold myself to a to a very high standard with my work, and yeah. uh, I find it very frustrating when um, other people in my group don't don't sort of complete work to a uh -huh. standard that I find acceptable. Right. It, I guess it can be really hard, right, when you're working with so many different people to like find a common ground. Because there are rules and expectations uh, for the project, and you want to put your best foot forward. But how do you manage what you want with what everybody else is doing, right? Yeah. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was your field report on group work and students' experiences. <laughs> I've never personally had any negative uh, group work experience in particular. Maybe I was the bad member of the group. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, because I'm relatively extroverted, I tend to uh, take over the communications and division of labor aspect of the group work. So it almost always seems like I'm doing the most work, even though, let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, I don't have any interesting stories of my own to share, but one of my friends in his group work had a colleague who sent an email to the group saying that she was terminally ill, not terminally <laughs> I mean that she was really ill and thus couldn't do her part of the group project. But my friend had her on Snapchat and he saw that she was actually ice skating in Whistler. <laughs> so he screenshotted it and showed it to the prof and the poor girl failed the assignment. So not saying that you should do that, but you know, it's always good to uh, keep an open, <laughs> open communication with your group mates and, uh, you know, take the appropriate measures when needed. With that, back to Pauline. Peace. Hi, everyone. So we're back in the studio with Yadu this Ooh. time. Yeah, Yadu is um, a veteran at the, <laughs> <laughs> the Intuition Former Podcast. Former president and CEO. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. So introduce yourself, Yadu, for those who don't know you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, my name is Yadu. I'm back. Uh, my partner, Grace, and I um, co-piloted and started the Intuition Podcast last summer. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I went off. I was away from Vancouver for four months, traveling, mm -hmm. visiting family, mm -hmm. doing yes. that whole eat, pray, love thing, yeah, <laughs> yeah, postgrad thing, and uh, I'm back now, and I'm uh, mm -hmm. I'm doing a postgrad program at UBC, mm -hmm. the DAP program, Diploma in Accounting, mm -hmm. very intense, but I love it, and nice. I'm back living on campus, so yeah. it's good to be back. It's good yeah. to have you back. Thank yeah. you. And Yadu has been bugging us for a while now to get on the podcast, <laughs> so Yo, Pauline like, stole my spotlight, but, so I had to okay. reclaim it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your 15 minutes, so right. oh, you're, you're <laughs> use it wisely. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to say? I'm so nervous. I'm doing this after so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're a natural, I'm sure. Oh, so. Well, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So you helped us to, you know, do some street interviews yeah. and ask some students uh -huh. how they feel about group work. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So tell us a bit about, you know, what you found out. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so I went out on the field yes. <laughs> <laughs> and interviewed some people who were coming to the desk and uh, some of my roommates as well. And mm -hmm. it was some interesting conversation about group work. I noticed a very common thread. Actually, the responses were not that different. And that was what was interesting to see, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that a lot of people said it was mixed. Their experiences with group work is mixed. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, you can have group members that are like really fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with whom you can create great bonds and learn mm -hmm. a lot from. And I mean, isn't that, you know, a huge aspect of the university experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, on the downside is you can have group members that just don't share the same standards for mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. that you have or who uh, do not communicate in a way that mm -hmm. is effective for everybody. Mm -hmm. And, you know, con conflicts do arise. Mm -hmm. um, and that can always be kind of crappy to deal with, especially mm -hmm. if yeah. it's like last minute, the night of, yeah. your partner is not responding to their emails, mm -hmm. hasn't submitted their work, and this assignment is like 30% of your grade. Yeah. What do you exactly. do? You end up pulling an all-nighter for yeah. somebody else. Yeah. So yeah. 
um, definitely a lot yeah. of downsides yeah. and of downsides. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah I think like mm. the the issue for the most part is not necessarily the work uh-huh. itself but the people yeah so it's like how do you fix the people you know absolutely to just you know have have it working like a well oiled machine that like everyone is on point with what they mm-hmm. need to do. Yeah, it feels like when everyone goes into group work, a lot of people just shut down and Absolutely. expect you know like one person to do it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, the so, personality. It's I, definitely a personality game. Yeah. You know? And that did come up a lot uh, when we were doing the interviews. Yeah. Um, something that a lot of students had to share was mm-hmm. communication mm-hmm. and um, setting up timelines and expectations mm-hmm. in light of what the project requires yeah. is very key it's like the foundation to yeah. um how the project is uh, yeah. going to run mm-hmm. yeah and i think somebody mentioned finding a common ground with mm-hmm. all your um teammates teammates right so like not just group work members but mm-hmm. actually finding something that you guys mm-hmm. share have in common mm-hmm. so then you guys start realizing that hey you're working towards the same goal mm-hmm. as opposed to okay something was just dumped onto you and like how are you yeah. going to divide the cake so everybody yeah. has a fair share and then can just get it done yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i think also for me how i think about it is like um especially what one of my friends told me mm-hmm. who works who's um a student in solder uh-huh. um so she she has a lot of group projects and yeah. one thing that she was like that she always tries to think about is each person in that group is now part of your network Right. Like in the future, mm-hmm. like especially if you guys are in the same program, mm-hmm. there's a chance that you will probably um, maybe end up in the same company mm-hmm. or end up in the same industry. Mm-hmm. And that person in the future, if they had a bad experience with you mm-hmm. th- and maybe you want to get a job in that company or something like that, they're going to be like, um, that person, I worked with them. <laughs> wasn't a great experience yeah, yeah. you know or definitely i feel yeah. like that's like you know thinking really long term you know yeah. like that's a very practical aspect of seeing it mm-hmm. and i think even in the short term like you know you're just walking down the hall and solder mm-hmm. you don't want to have to like look away you know because like you have <laughs> yeah, like exactly. a bad you're relationship bad yeah. with somebody like i mean mm-hmm. life is just too short yeah. friends <laughs> like exactly. live it yeah, up like yeah. be kind to one another yes you know? <laughs> yeah and i think um definitely you know, I approach group work very differently now mm-hmm. uh, at, in my, f- I guess, fifth year or po- as in my postgrad than I did uh, in my first year when I entered university. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things I really learned to do is to really frame or contextualize what is it that I want to get out of the group work mm-hmm. before I enter the group work. So, yeah. you know, I mean, there is more to life than just meeting the expectations of a project, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like maybe I can create new friendships. And if not, we don't have that much in common. How can you add to somebody's life? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes just by being like cooperative, sharing a smile, Mm -hmm. openly communicating with somebody, Mm -hmm. asking them questions about their lives, like can really brighten not just their day, but like, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. their being, if that makes sense. So I definitely agree with that. But like when you think about it too, but as you were mentioning, finding a common ground, a link between the group members, uh-huh. not many people are going to approach it that way. Some people yeah. are just yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm just here for the moment. Exactly. This term, I want to get my mark. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or the person that's not actively involved, they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how can you motivate those people? What, how can you... And I agree with you. you yeah. know, like That's a good holistic view, but how can you get those people to work together? Well, you know, Tristan, I feel like it's really... like Once you have that intention, mm-hmm. it's all about... you one person's intention versus that of the other people. Mm -hmm. You know, people who, like, don't necessarily communicate or who, as you were saying, are there to just, like, you know, dump their work and then exit out Mm -hmm. usually don't have a very strong intention of doing that. That's just the way that they usually do things. Mm -hmm. But if you are intentionate, is that a word? Intentionate? Intentional. Intentional (laughs) About, like, what you do, that will override uh, the way that other people do what they Mm -hmm. do. Yeah, Mm -hmm. if you go in with, like, the energy... If you mm-hmm. go in with um, the openness, mm-hmm. that'll yeah. that'll definitely yeah. have more of an impact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, yeah. that's from my personal experience. So, yeah. as I was saying, I never really had any negative group mm-hmm. work experiences. No, not it's not because I'm an amazing person. I'm sure I got very lucky in a lot of cases. Mm-hmm. But something that I did know or learn to do yeah. over the years is to openly communicate. Mm-hmm. I wasn't necessarily the person, you know doing all the work last minute and compiling everything. Mm -hmm. Um, But I was also not the person to like, you know, like cop out and like, you know, not do my part of the work. Mm -hmm. I would just, you know, help facilitate. And that can also be a great asset to uh, be Mm -hmm. And I think also like 
physically meeting is very important oh, yeah, a lot yeah. of people do their group work over google docs or oh, yeah, yeah. facebook messenger but like actually i mean you don't have to meet all the time you don't have to meet like five times during yeah. the semester mm-hmm. but at least once mm-hmm. like it can just be like a get to know each other type yeah. of thing mm-hmm. or just getting to know each other's styles of doing Absolutely. things mm-hmm. i think that can break down a lot of barriers if someone's like oh i'm someone who doesn't like to leave things to the last minute i like to know you know when i'm doing this when I'm, blah 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 mm-hmm. i think it's good to know how that that person works and yeah. see how you can fit it into the yeah. um you know largest you know, of things you bring up such an important point which mm-hmm. is just like how impersonal things are getting with mm-hmm. like the google docs and everything mm-hmm. i mean yeah. technology is great and you know we should definitely use it to our advantage yeah. mm-hmm. but i do you know i have been in those situations where the group was like oh yeah we can just meet over skype or oh mm-hmm. yeah we can just like send each other communication via emails yeah. like, as yeah. opposed to having to me because you know we all have our lives and it's hard yeah. to me you know what? Everybody can find yeah. 30, 45 minutes yeah. to meet with a group. Yeah. Like, Not you're even on like campus, 20 like, minutes. Just meet over like, a meal. Yeah. Like, do something. And like, yeah. or, you know, there'll be this expectation that, oh, everybody has to meet at the same time. Uh-huh. Otherwise, it's not fair. Uh-huh. You know, but like, is it really about being fair or is it really about like uh-huh. h- having a human element to the uh-huh. project uh-huh. and like, you know, learning from one another? Yeah. Because I feel like that's such a valuable aspect yeah. of group work that yeah. perhaps actually professors and teachers should bring up more, you know, yeah. as opposed to just being like, okay, guys, get yeah. this job done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there will be peer evaluations. Have you guys met in person? I really yeah. do feel like that should be a criteria. Yeah. Yeah. I had to like yeah. beg my group once that we would meet and rehearse before mm-hmm. a presentation. Um, yeah. They're like, oh no, everybody can just uh, yeah. we'll divide up how much time it's supposed to take. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to time themselves, mm-hmm. perfect it, and then mm-hmm. get it. And I'm like, yep. no. You I've know, had like, that too. I'm yeah. sorry, but I have to, I'm yeah. going to have to put my foot down about yeah. this. Like, yeah. uh, I can come off campus if uh-huh. you guys all live uh, yeah. off, uh, campus. off campus or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like can we please meet yeah like exactly. and, yeah. and know how like this dynamic is gonna work out yeah. in definitely. front of the class yes. so yeah. yes yeah i've yeah. definitely had that same experience before i mean mm-hmm. it's you can't do like a cut and paste thing because also the professor can tell oh yeah from the, the styles work. Different, different different yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. also like how i also like to think about like the final piece that mm-hmm. we do is like this is something i can add to my portfolio mm-hmm. and like you know talk about maybe in interviews and say oh you know this is what Mm. i did out of the group work but if you don't know everybody else's parts then how can you talk about it you know how can you say you know Mm. what the project was how the methodologies you guys use to achieve your results how can you talk about it if you were just there and that goes back to yadu's point earlier about Mm -hmm. making that common link because you know if you get past scheduling and like coming to a time where everyone can meet Mm -hmm. Say like if the group members are there, people are going to be inhibited. Some people are not going to feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. To you know, they don't necessarily like the people that they're working yeah. with. Mm-hmm. There's so many obstacles. Like group, mm-hmm. group work is it's dynamic in so many ways. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. So a person may feel inhibited, like oh, I can't contribute that mm-hmm. much, or uh-huh. not that confident in their own skills. Right. Mm-hmm. So like, how can you like really approach that? And absolutely. It's, it's yeah. really difficult. Yeah. So it goes back to what you were saying, making that common link and mm-hmm. really knowing the individual mm-hmm. and knowing your intentions. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, you know I'm not good at this. I'm comfortable to say it. Um, but this is what I want to do for the group. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. you won't judge me. We can work together. Yeah. You know, we're and all asking for help if you need it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. And actually, you know, going back to what you were saying, Pauline, mm-hmm. is, um, you know, it really raises the question, like, do students really learn mm-hmm. through group work? Because, like, you know, like, the point of having group work is, you know, to, like, explore a, like, topic or whatever with the team, mm-hmm. like, you know, go in depth into it, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But I've most of the time found that I learn more when I'm doing a report or a project by myself mm-hmm. or studying for an exam as opposed to the group work, Mm -hmm. especially if there's not that communication in the group work. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, like, I'm just doing my part and then dumping it in. And then Mm -hmm. the person who really learns is the person who compiles everything Mm -hmm. together, you know? Mm -hmm. But I don't really see the holistic view Mm -hmm. until maybe the day of when I skim through to check for any grammar mistakes Mm -hmm. or until we get to the presentations. And I hear my uh, Mm -hmm. teammates present their piece and I'm like, oh, okay, Mm -hmm. well, now I see how my part fits into this. Yeah, Yeah. and that's a problem because in reality, when you go out into the workforce group work yeah. is an essential key yeah. and like you're always going to mm-hmm. be working with some people who yeah. you don't necessarily gel with exactly. who you maybe yeah. they're also not doing their part so yeah. it's real life it's like real this life. is actually it's funny. real it's, it's not only we, we think in professional settings uh-huh. it's not only within the institutions like school or work mm-hmm. but it's at home you know yeah. Yeah. if you have a family like it's group work involved you know yes. yeah absolutely personal yeah. relationships yeah yeah, yeah. You know, living friendships, with roommates you know? yeah. as well roommates yeah. Shoot. Like, yeah. you could yeah. you could have your 
your shortcomings with a friend yeah. and you're like whoa you're not cutting your part yeah. like what do you so that's why I'm, I, I say like the intention is so important of like you know mm-hmm. what is it I want to get out of it you know yeah. if you mm-hmm. if you really aspire to uh, you know be in any sort of like leadership <laughs> position mm-hmm. one day like you know you need to be able to like take responsibility for yourself and mm-hmm. sometimes for others mm-hmm. and really ask yourself how can you through that you know kind of like uh, conscious thinking empower the other person to do what yeah. they need to do mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i think that's a really good note to end it on <laughs> yeah. all right it's a wrap it's a wrap thanks yeah. for coming yeah, thank in you so much, we missed you on this podcast oh thanks darling <laughs> <laughs> all right. peace <laughs> Okay, Tristan, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Suppose you wake up one day, you go outside on your way to class, and the weather is dreary and it's raining again. Mm, Typical. Yep. And you reach for your umbrella, but oops, you left it in the library, (sighs) you know, once again. And you have to walk all the way to your class soaking wet. (sighs) You get there. There's a pop quiz. That you didn't know about. What? And you haven't studied for it. No. And so you essentially are going to fail. And How much yeah, is it worth? Like 20% of your grades. Yep. So you're basically stuck there just with no answers. Mm. And then you realize after the quiz that you have a group project due to, uh, in two days. Mm -hmm. But one of your group members has decided not to reply any of your messages. Typical. So rude. And you want to pull your hair out. Ah. And you're so stressed. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I don't know. I'll probably go for a drink or something. Well, that's probably a short-term solution. Um, But I think you should go to counseling services. Counseling? What's that? So counseling services is a resource on campus Mm -hmm. that is equipped with mental health professionals to help students work their way through, um, you know, whatever stresses that they may have in their academic or personal life. And with individual therapy and tools during workshops or group programs, Mm -hmm. you can, they can really help students to have the best university experience possible. So I think that should be your next step, Tristan. Wow, yeah, man, that sounds great. Yep. All yeah. Right. And if you would like to know more, you should check out students.ubc.ca slash counseling for more information. Okay, we'll Okay, be. so let's get back to the regularly scheduled episode. So group work, man. Yes, group I, work. I'm telling you, it's it's very cumbersome at moments you know Mm -hmm. and it's a hard task to maintain for instance we had a we had a situation today yeah in terms of group work we were scheduled to interview a faculty member uh earlier this week but um last minute they had a cancellation and they couldn't come and interview for the interview and um it was really difficult because it was we have a tight schedule ourselves Mm -hmm. pauline and Mm -hmm. i and we also had a you know, a, a backup solution as well for for our episode, but that fell through as well. Yeah. So, the, you know, this morning it was really tough for us. We had to really think, what can we do? Mm-hmm. We talked to our supervisor, mm-hmm. and we had a, you know, an in depth conversation about this whole thing. Yeah. And uh, they came up with great recommendations. They were telling us, you know what, you really got to think about this because this is a great illustration of what group work actually is in the professional yeah. setting. Yeah. Yeah, it it really speaks to like the boundaries and the limitations that sometimes you have to get through. And it's just it's the reality of the situation in any sort of team setting, group mm-hmm. setting, whether it be in your personal life, academic, mm-hmm. professional, it's unavoidable. And I think that's something that we really have to drive home. The fact that mm-hmm. there's always going to be some sort of. Mm-hmm conflicts maybe not between the group members but like in terms of the project like exactly yeah. you know and it's something it's just life mm-hmm. and i think it's important that we get into the mentality that there's always going to be issues that arise and what's important is how you mitigate those issues mm, definitely yeah so some of the recommendations that we talked about was you know having a backup solution or trying to find ways to persevere and um mm-hmm stay committed because like Pauline said it's going to be everywhere 
Mm-hmm. You know, when, once you enter the workforce, you're going to have those issues. Yeah. And the most important thing is to stay committed and not just give up. Yeah. So when you apply this to your group work at mm-hmm. university, mm-hmm. there's going to be some shortcomings and limitations. Mm-hmm. And people are quick to say, you know what, I'm going to go my separate ways. I'm going to try and do this by myself. But, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to do it by yourself. There's always a solution. And mm-hmm. our solution to this issue was talking to our supervisor mm-hmm. and asking, what can we do? Should mm-hmm. we not publish this episode today? What should we do? Mm-hmm. So that's a very important uh, lesson is yeah. to stay committed and persevere because yeah. that's going to stay with you through, you know, the rest of your professional career as well as, you know, personal lessons in life, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the adaptability is something that's really important. And it speaks to you developing those problem solving skills that are going to stick with you long term Mm -hmm. and that's something that every single type of profession Mm -hmm. or situation in life requires you Mm -hmm. to to be able to you know analyze the situation and be like okay yeah this is not going according to plan Mm -hmm. but i can't give up what am i gonna do to circumvent this and in that way like new ideas also come up like Mm -hmm. you brainstorm creative ideas and sometimes like real diamonds are are made in those moments Mm -hmm. and the important thing is that you're just not giving up and yeah yeah, so creativity can really be sparked in those type of um situations so Mm -hmm. i would just say yeah don't give up definitely (laughs) and just maintain you know you know your flexibility you got to be flexible Mm-hmm. You know, most people are very limited and restricted. Mm-hmm. Yep. And like we've been mentioning, it's like easy to give up, but yep. you can't really give up. Can't give up. So, you know, that's our that's our <laughs> personal experience right now yeah. in terms of group work. And yeah. these are professionals, keep in mind. They're, yeah. they're professors, faculty members. Yeah. And they were very committed to coming on and mm-hmm. giving us great insight on what they perceive and what they believe is the benefit of group work. Yeah. But they, you know, they couldn't come because they had scheduling conflicts and, you mm-hmm. know, that left us thinking, what can we do? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. here's our creativity through this episode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Showing us, showing you guys or, you, you know, showing everyone Yeah. that, you know, group work is not always easy. Yeah. Well, thank you for listening to this episode everyone and we Mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed it and please tune in again for our next one Mm -hmm. and be sure also to visit our website learningcommons.ubc.ca for more helpful tips on group work we have a a student toolkit on it Mm -hmm. and we'll also link it in the description for the podcast as well sounds good all right